Hi guys, it's Daniel here, and uh, last week Zon did a math problem from Assassination Classroom. So this week I was watching Madoka Magica, and I found out that that anime also had some pretty interesting math problems. So I was like, why not? Let's try doing one. So here we are with a problem that showed up in Madoka Magica. It states that if you have a P be a prime and N be any integer then 1 plus n to the power of p minus n to the power of p minus 1 is divisible by p. So if I want to re rewrite it right here, it's something like this. Prove that p divides 1 plus n to the power of p minus n to the power of p minus 1. So how might we go about doing this? And just as a side note, the anime is based on a middle school so these problems were given to middle schoolers which I think is pretty surprising because some of the problems that they give are actually pretty hard so first off what can we do about this well one idea would be to use the binomial theorem because we have this term right here 1 plus n to the power of p this kind of reminds us of using the binomial theorem because then we would be able to expand everything into some simpler terms. And in fact, this minus n power of p minus 1 actually helps out because it cancels out some of the terms in the expansion due to the binomial theorem. So let's just see what happens if we try this. So using the binomial theorem, we get that this thing is equal to uh, p two zero 0 times n to the power of 0, 1 to the power of p, plus p2 is 1, times n to the power of 1, p, uh, 1 to the power of p minus 1, plus da 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 da, plus p2 is p, times n to the power of p, 1 to the power of 0, minus n to the power of p minus 1. And of course, this part is just equal to 1, and this part is just equal to n power of p. So after that bit of cancellation, we get p choose 1 times n plus da da da, da plus p choose p minus 1 times n to the power of p minus 1. And we want to prove that p divides this thing. So indeed, it suffices to show that p divides p choose k for k is between 1 and p minus 1 because if this is true then p divides each of these coefficients so obviously p would divide n for any n that we choose so why is this fact true well let's look at the expansion of p choose k so this thing is just equal to p to factorial over k factorial p minus k factorial and we want to prove p divides this so to do this let's look at how many factors of p appear in the numerator versus how many factors of p appear in the denominator well in the numerator clearly there's only one factor of p namely the p term because all the other terms are less than p and since p is a prime clearly cannot be divisible by p so this has one factor of p. What about this bottom term? Well, we know that k is between 1 and p minus 1. So in fact, each of these terms themselves are the product of some consecutive terms up to at most p minus 1. And since we already discussed that these are not divisible by p, these both must contain zero factors of p. And this proves our proposition because the top contains one factor, the bottom contains zero factors. So that means overall this must contain one factor of p, so p divides it. Thus we are done. But perhaps an easier way to do this problem is to use Fermat's little theorem. Fermat's little theorem states that a to the power of p is congruent to a mod p for any a. So if we use this on our original uh, problem, we would want to prove that 1 plus n to the power of p 
minus n to the power of p minus 1 is congruent to 0 mod p. And then using Fermat's little theorem right here, we get that this thing is congruent to 1 plus n minus n minus 1, which is obviously congruent to 0 mod p. So we're done again. So this consists of two different ideas that both solve this problem. Today we're going to be doing a problem I saw while watching anime. This is from the anime Assassination Classroom.